We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to test key resistance levels. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 10.20 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside. Full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 100% plus within an hour guys and as you see it poppy up there within the screen within the options chain some options even went higher than that if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index fighting to hold support and in today's video we're going to break down the key levels i would watch going into next week but before we do i want to share with you guys the horn opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home today was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home today was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 8 40 a.m and from that moment forward, inflows cross the midpoint to the upside, bull strength on 42 vision, and call options went up 120% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump to these charts. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area today. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, switching over from a bear indicator yesterday at the 533.50 level to a bull indicator here today on the 30 minute chart at the 527.70 level, canceling out that bear indicator and a full transition from the dip area back up to the rip area. Now, it slowed down at a key area of resistance that we were watching. And the next level above these slight levels of resistance at 530 was the 531.50 level, which we're going to break down and look at in just a moment. But here it is holding itself up. And it wasn't the only stock under a bull indicator. You have the QQQ here back under a bull indicator at 455. You have Tesla here running all day after finding support above 174. A bull indicator at 174.73, hitting highs up here of 180. And you have Apple running all day as well under a bull indicator since the pre market at 187.50. Even Netflix came back up after finding support and under a bull indicator at the 637.50 level, running all the way back up to key resistance levels up here of 650. So I will be watching these stocks if their staircase effect can continue. And if these bull indicators hold strong going into next week. Now, when we zoom out and look at the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index under the one hour chart, we could see here a bear indicator at the 532.50 level. And even though things have pushed back up so far, 
and have transitioned from white with red borders to dark green and to complete a transition upwards, the last piece missing would be bright green bars and a possible bull indicator. The bear indicator is still dominating here from near the 532.50 level. I would not ignore that. And it's at a crucial area of resistance right near 530 and it needs to get back above it. It is currently sitting at 529.50 in the after hours. And that's something I will be watching the rest of these after hours and going into next week. Now, in the volatility of the 15 minute, it's been under a bull indicator all day since the 526.87 level. And that was a crucial area of support, all of pre-market and into the opening bell. As soon as it came down towards that level, very close to it there at 526.89, it pushed right back up and it continued the strength, no bear indicator and full momentum there of bright green bars. Now, a staircase effect is forming here in the volatility of the 15 minute, and this is gonna be crucial to not ignore. And I'm gonna pull up the inflow versus outflows and break down the key levels I would watch going into next week. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index with inflows pushing upwards yesterday and we were watching this and it needed to cross to justify any move to the upside. And here we have it in the middle of the day, those inflows crossed over. You could see it there and things started to push up from the 527 level up to highs up here of 530. Things slowed down there multiple times in the day. 530 was a crucial resistance in the volatility of today's movement but something to not ignore is inflows are dominating even though they're red and they're still positive 1.40 and as long as it stays above and turns back up and turns green it could continue the possibility of this staircase effect here on the 30 minute chart so i will be watching for these inflows to stay above to justify any further move to the upside now the inflow started to pick up today in the pre-market and all day and things started to move once those inflows crossed over on the one hour and inflows are back above. They were actually at some of the lowest outflows yesterday near the lows of 524. You could see it there. Outflows of negative 6.53 based off the chart in the last several days and weeks. Some of the lowest levels. Now inflows are back above. 1.34 and they need to stay above to justify any further move to the upside and a possible bull indicator popping up to cancel the bear indicator on the one hour now in the volatility of the 15 minute inflows are fighting to stay above if they cross to the downside and outflows start to dominate it can quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts and the first support level i'll be watching is 528 then below that is 525 and then I'll be watching the 523 level. Now, to the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows on the 15-minute chart to start picking up, switching from red to green, continuing the staircase effect here and holding that bull indicator strong, and then rolling the strength over into the 30-minute. And the first resistance is 530, then comes 531.50, a crucial area of resistance yesterday when it tried popping up and rejected downwards that needs to get crossed with strength and turn into a support with inflows following and then above that comes 533 so these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside the bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i would not ignore them as they're fighting to stay above the midpoint and on the 15 minute really close to the midpoint and needs to turn green and push up away from it as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money